Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. Today I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial on how to uh, connect this uh, r link 200 made by top down to connect this with your uh, vehicle. So let's go ahead and uh, get it started guys. So you want to connect this uh, to your uh, car you want to make sure the car is uh, off right now. So take out this uh, other package. This is the standalone uh, unit. And it comes with this uh, OBT, OBD2 uh, uh, connector. First of all, you need to locate the OBD2 uh, sensor on the bottom of the, your uh, dashboard. So let's go ahead and uh, look into it. Mine is under... Uh, over here oh. mine is uh, right here So it's almost like a trapezoid uh, shape. You want to connect that. You want to connect that to the same direction. Sorry guys, so I need to untangle this uh, wire, this thing. So let's go ahead and then, uh, connect this. Be sure it is uh, Connecting only one way, okay? So, oh, so the unit come on already. So this one uh, does not need battery, so it says uh, enter to scan or uh, exit to set up. I'm just going to hit enter for now. So yeah, you gotta turn on the ignition. At first, uh, I thought you don't need to because uh, the, <laughs> the 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 unit came on. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, start the engine. That's why it says uh, fail to connect. So I press exit. So exit again here is the setup uh, menu, system setup menu. Uh, one for language unit of, and then uh, two is for unit of measurement. You could go down, up and down arrow. So let's see how many languages you can select on this. Here's all the languages. Uh, I'm gonna select English. Let's check out the unit of uh, measurement. So you got English or metrics. It's uh, English. And then you can adjust the contrast. You can adjust uh, darker or lighter. So this is darker. So I'm, I'm, uh, I like this unit because this one has a backlight. So in case uh, you troubling shoot troubleshooting at nighttime, the unit has a uh, light, the backlight. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, start this uh, my car real quick. Oh yeah. 
Sorry guys, I didn't want to you know, copyright sound on the video. So let's go ahead and uh, exit it out and then now uh, press uh, enter to scan it. So it show you the feed code, erase code, <clears throat> view frame, uh, freeze frame. I am uh, reading. And then your vehicle uh, information. So let's go click on recall and see what it says. Or oh, fee code. Go check on the erase code. So here you want to erase the code if you have uh, any other troubleshoot code or error code. After you fix it, then you want to go ahead and then, uh, erase it. Okay. And I'm going to exit out and then enter. Let's go check out the, since there's no air, I don't think you could view the freeze uh, frame. So it says no freeze. Let's go check out this uh, I am. Uh, So we show you all the status, uh, misfire monitor, fuel uh, system, MIL status, com uh, components, it's okay. So this is more like a, for like a, see if you, your car is gonna pass a smog or not. Evaporate system is okay. Security air not available. AC oxygen sensor. Wow. So this uh, this unit is um is uh, pretty good. It has um a lot of functions. So you can exit out again, and then you can click on this drive cycle. But I haven't been driving, so we we'll see. So I'm doing just uh, navigate up and down. You can go up and down for the menu. So let's jump into the last one. Last one will be this uh, vehicle information. Hopefully it's not going to show my uh, VIN number. So the first one, it shows the uh, vehicle uh, uh, ID number. Calibration ID.
All right, guys. So this is just a quick tutorial about this uh, unit. Hopefully, you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then uh, turn on your bell for notification and drop any comments on below. Since there's no air call, um, I would try to see if I could connect this to another uh, vehicle that has a call so I could show you guys the sample. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video, guys. Like always, peace. So here we are with uh, another vehicle. And I believe this one has a uh, air, co air uh, code on the car. So let's go ahead and check this one out. So we're gonna uh, locate and connect this uh, OBD2 sensor again. Ah. So you're gonna take out the panel. So this is a 2,009 Honda Civic. So it is right here on top of your center console right here. And then uh, you gotta take out this uh, plastic. There's a plastic panel that I took it out and remove. Okay. So this is run right here. You gotta connect it to there. Make sure you connect into the right uh, direction. I only fit in one way. And then I gotta start the car, okay? Enter to scan. Read the code, there's no code. So I guess uh, there's no call for this one either. So anyway. Oh, so somehow this one shows a VIN number. Okay. So I'm gonna block it out, so. Alright, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up, like the video, and I'll see you guys on the next one, alright? Like always, peace.